So this is one of our summer wildflowers. This is narrow-leaved mountain mint, one of the pycnanthemums, which again are mountain mints. And then, so like all mints, they have square stems, and the branching is opposite, so one on each side. And of course, if when it, you can't smell this, of course, but if I rip this off, it would have a minty, minty smell. Produces these, these uh, small little uh, clusters of flowers, which are very popular, especially with small little wasps and bees. Um, but butterflies also like to visit them, although much lesser extent than the other than the other groups. So, um, so it's a beautiful little plant. Um, it is deer resistant, meaning that the minty smell and, the, and taste, because believe it or not, you can actually make tea and stuff out of this when it dries, may be popular with us. I mean, we may think it smells good, but um, but many other things do not, and deer is one of them. So many insects don't feed on it, and um, and except for, of course nectaring at it. And the deer don't like it so much. They will eat if there's nothing else, but there you go. It can tolerate really hot conditions, um, and so it's a very adaptable plant. Because it spreads quickly, like most mints do, it sends out little runners underneath. Um, some people plant it in a place where it's restrained, let's say in a corner, uh, where a couple things happen. So if you're walking by and, and uh, it's a corner where there's a sidewalk or something, that one limits how far it can go, but it also means every time you brush it and bruise it, it lets out that minty smell, so that's another little advantage to it too. But again, a really cool little, um, a really cool little pycnanthemum or mountain mint. This one is narrow-leaved mountain mint. You can see why, how narrow those leaves are. One of our mints, wildflowers, and all around very adaptable, um, very adaptable wood, uh, meadow plants. Doesn't grow very tall, very, uh, very fast spreading, which is a big important thing in some cases.